In this video, we'll review how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. Let's start with addition. If we want to add two polynomials, what we want to focus on is collecting terms that have the same power of x. So for example, here we see a 5x to the 4th and a 6x to the 4th. And if we combine those together, 6x to the 4th plus 5x to the 4th together make 11x to the 4th. And typically we go from the highest power of x down. So we did the x to the fourth, now let's look at x cubed. Here we have positive x cubed, and here we have negative x cubed, and when we add positive x cubed and negative x cubed, we actually get zero. This positive x cubed cancels out with this negative x cubed. What about x squared? Well, in the first polynomial, we have negative 4x squared, and we don't have any x squared in the second polynomial, so we simply copy that term down negative 4x squared. What about x to the first, or just x? Well again, we don't have any x's in the first polynomial, but we have 7x in the second polynomial, so we just have 7x. And then finally, constants. All we have is a plus 5 in the first polynomial. We don't have any constant term in the second polynomial, so we just have plus 5. And that's our answer. So we call this collecting like terms. We collect together powers of x that are the same. Now when we subtract polynomials, the first step is we want to take this negative sign and distribute it through all of the terms of that second polynomial. And once we do that, then the subtraction problem just becomes an addition problem. So our first polynomial is still x squared minus 3x minus 4. And when we distribute that negative, we get minus x cubed, minus minus 3x squared is plus 3x squared, minus x, minus 5. And now, just like in the previous problem, we're just going to collect like terms. So first we'll start with the highest power of x, which is x cubed. We only have one x cubed with a negative 1 in front of it, so negative x cubed gets copied down. Now let's do the x squareds. We've got x squared plus 3x squared. So together that makes 4x squared. Next we've got x to the first power, just x. Here we have negative 3x, and here we have negative x. So together that makes negative 4x. And then finally constants. We've got negative 4 minus 5. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. And so here's our answer. Multiplication can get a little bit more complicated, but multiplying a polynomial by a monomial, uh, which is just a polynomial with one term, is relatively simple. All we're going to do is distribute the monomial through the polynomial. So 4x squared times the quantity x cubed minus x plus 2 is simply 4x squared times x cubed minus 4x squared times x plus 4x squared times 2. And all we have to do is simplify now. Alright, what's x squared times x cubed? Well, as you might remember, when we multiply two exponential terms with the same base, they both have a base of x, then the exponents get added together. Think of it this way. x squared times x cubed, what is that? Well, x squared is x times x, and x cubed is x times x times x. And so x squared times x cubed is x times x times x times x times x. That's 5x's, so that's 4 times x to the fifth. Similarly, x squared times x is x cubed. And then finally, 4x squared times 2. The 4 times 2 is 8, so we get 8x squared. And that's it. Now when we multiply a polynomial by a polynomial, all we do is distribute each term of the first polynomial through the terms of the second polynomial. So that means that we've got 2x minus 3 times x cubed plus 2x minus 3 times x plus 2x minus 3 times 1. So the first step is to distribute the first polynomial through the second polynomial just like we did in the previous problem. But now we've got more distributing to do. Now we're going to be distributing 
on the right-hand side. So we're going to distribute the x cubed times both of those terms, the x times both of those terms, and then the 1 times both of these terms. So we get 2x times x cubed minus 3 times x cubed plus 2x times x minus 3 times x. And then 2x times 1 minus 3 times 1. So now let's simplify all these terms. So going back to the beginning, 2x times x cubed. Again, what's x times x cubed? That's a total of 4x's all being multiplied together. So that's 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed. x times x is x squared minus 3x. 2x times 1 is just 2x, and 3 times 1 is just 3. And then finally, all we have to do is collect like terms. The only like terms that need to be collected here are these couple of x's. So we've got negative 3x plus 2x, that's negative x, and then everything else just gets copied down. And there's our answer. So there's a lot of steps, but it's really just distributing, simplifying, and then collecting like terms. So follow these steps and you'll be successful.